uh, for being here today. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a very warm welcome from our friend from Evelyn as well, uh, that you make it today uh, to attend this event. I, on behalf of the Royal Government of Cambodia, I would like to take this opportunity to uh, thank uh, our team, especially Evelyn, uh, Suana, personally, and uh, all of our friends here, uh, for making this uh, happen. Uh, for me, uh, personally, this is, uh, you know, uh, Red Plus here in Cambodia is, is a big success uh, uh, for me personally as a biological scientist, you know. Uh, this is something uh, we've been working back at school, you know, when I was at, back at university, I also involved in uh, uh, drafting this concept uh, back in university. Right? and. Uh, I would never imagine that I would see this, um, you know, um, uh, happening um, in my in my lifetime, because at that time there's a lot of uh, challenging that we have to address, and there's many questions that you need to uh, to solve as well, right? But um, it happened, yeah. And as a minister, uh, I'm, I'm very happy and, uh, I con and I'm very confident that this uh, will open a new, a new chapter here in, in Cambodia. You know, we able to demonstrate uh, to our people and also show a commitment to our people that we able to earn money by keeping the three standings. Right, and uh, this is a, a, a big uh, challenge for us. Uh, previously, you know, without Red Plus, uh, without this uh, carbon credit, it, that would be very difficult to achieve. Right, it might take a longer time to achieve that. But because this happening, uh, we are able to, uh, you know, to to prove to our people uh, preci precisely that. Uh, um, you still can earn money. Uh, you know, uh, by keeping the tree standing. Right? So it, it's happened, and, and I'd like to congratulate everyone that involved in this project, and uh, thank you for making this happen for Cambodia, and please uh, continue to, you know, to, to improve and also to uh, open new area for carbon credit here in Cambodia. To me, personally, like I said before, I'm very happy and I'm proud that, uh, you know, Red Plus is happening in, in Cambodia. And as a government, uh, you know, we, we're very pleased uh, that, uh, you know, these things that we able to keep our forests, at the same time we earn the money and we use that money to invest in local economy, invest in uh, family economy. This is a, a big thing uh, for us, it's a big deal for us, uh, which never happened before for us. But, but again, we also, you know, uh, willing to share our experience uh, with uh, other countries, with our friends that are willing to to to, uh, to join the project. So, um, you know, um, we're willing to share the um, the experience and uh, and also the know-how, right? And lastly, um, once again, uh, thank to the people that involved in this uh, evidence. Uh, Wildlife Line, especially Zwana, uh, big commitment. Uh, you know, I, in Cambodia, not many individual that make a big commitment. You know, using a big time of a life, right? Uh, committed Cambodia like uh, Zwana, and uh, you know, um, thank you very much uh, for for your commitment uh, to to Cambodia, and also thank to our staff that uh, keep the hope and the uh, belief alive. Because there's so many times that um, when something about to happen and then something come and destruct it, right? But finally we sell carbon. Uh, we make a decision to sell carbon and, and, and finally we find good friend, Evelyn, to come and join us, right? So, and uh, like I told, the staff at the Ministry of Environment, uh, nowhere else here in Cambodia, you see change within the life of your career. It's not many, it does not happen every day, right? 
but here you see it. It did ha it it does happen in front of you before your eyes, right? So, congratulations, everyone, and thank you.